Last week, we told you about a moose that's been seen in Chippewa County. Today, we learned that same moose has likely moved farther south. WEAU's Jesse Horn was out searching for this elusive wanderer. Jesse, I can't wait to see if you found him or not. Yeah, Danielle, good evening. You know, Moose Patrol was in full force today, and that's something that we're not usually seeing around this area. Four years ago, there was a moose reported near Elk Mound. Irony there. Last week, there was one spotted around Stanley, and today, it was a sighting in far southern Eau Claire County. The village of Fairchild had a special guest arrive this past weekend. Early Sunday morning, my dog started freaking out at 2 o'clock in the morning and he would not stop barking till six o'clock in the morning. All thanks to this, a large moose standing in her driveway. I said, the moose is here, the moose is here, let's all get up and we all got up and went and seen the moose. The thing is, he's right here. It was still there Wednesday night, a sight that's rare for Wisconsin and especially this part of the state. We do have Oh, about 25 to 35 reports every year of moose being in Wisconsin, but generally we have those uh, reports concentrated more in the northern and north central part of our state. Now a sighting in Eau Claire County has been all the buzz around town. But it hasn't just been the locals of Fairchild who have been mesmerized by the moose. Many modes of transportation arrived on North Front Street with people from neighboring communities and counties coming for a look. Cool. It's nice. It's very like, cool. I have never seen a moose. It is, this is amazing. It's, it's a moose. Wrong. This is Wisconsin. We don't really get them, so it's a miracle. Awesome. Yet the miracle may be the reason why the moose is on the loose. Uh, this time of year is a time when moose are um, displaying rutting behavior, so they're looking to breed. And generally, these males will cover large areas of ground looking for uh, a mate to breed with. Johansson says the DNR won't try to corral this moose, but still, Dodie wishes she could help him out. I'd like to find him a girlfriend. <laughs> Yes, Moose Love Connection is going to be a show here on NBC this fall. Joe Hansen says the specific moose that they're looking at right now was tagged by the DNR two years ago when it got its antlers tangled up in some old telephone wire in Price County. He says that they are keeping an eye on where the moose is going, and they do welcome the reports that they are getting from people who are watching it roam the area.